So this is just a quick video. Um, I thought I'd make a video of showing people how I like to remove uh, capacitors when I'm remodding, when I'm recapping a console uh, for myself or for somebody else. I like to use this technique. So <clears throat> I'm going to be taking out this uh, capacitor here, which is a a. Uh, a, a, I think it's a yeah so it's a 6.3 volt 100 microfarads like this one here so first things first, first let's have a look at the solder side <clears throat> I'll find it on the solder side and usually from factory after it's, it's been installed and they bend the pins right over and then and the solder's all there and it's all you know you can clear the solder away but you've got these pins that have bent really tight so just in there you can see that so what I'm going to do now is I just carefully uh, get to the back of the board and I'll cut those pins right down to the board just really carefully we try and get everything You know, you've got to be careful you don't want to actually cut or scratch the board. So that's pretty good. So th those solders are, are pretty, um, solder points are pretty much uh, flush to the board. And the reason I do that will become clear in a minute. Let's make sure we've got this one. Yeah. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay. So first things first, I'm going to put a bit of my special... Uh, liquid flux that I buy from a chemical supplier here in Australia. Just a little drop of that. I've got some great paint on stuff, but I want there to be too much of a mess. But if you're in Australia, <clears throat> use this stuff. You can get it from Audi. I uh, saw from Audi. You get this from JCar in here in Australia, and it's really good stuff. It's a you know a, a resin-based one. <clears throat> I just use a little paintbrush like this, just to just to put a blob there. But act, that's like the absolute best stuff going. Can be a bit messy at times. Yeah. Okay, so I've done that. Now, I'm just going to build these spots up again now with some solder. Now, I had a friend contact me today and actually uh, was having some difficulties working on a Mega Drive 2 board because she wasn't able to get the solder hot or it wasn't able to, you know, it just wasn't working for her. And that's because, or what I think it was because, is because it's the lead-free solder. And it's really terrible stuff. So this is a satin board, and it's lead-free as well. So you've got to turn your temp up a little bit. <clears throat> and I try to mix a bit of lead solder with the, the spot I'm already working with anyway. So what we're going to do now, this is the cap I'm removing. Now, before I do anything, I just like to do this. This is, sounds really horrible, looks really horrible, but that's actually the best thing you can do. So just gently rocking this, the cap like this. And what I'm trying to do is just like to break the inside of the cap. Not twisting it so much, just to rocking it like that. Like that. And then that just lifts, that cap just lifts straight off. And it just leaves the two pins left behind in the PCB just there. Here. And you've got your cap there, you put that aside so you don't get things mixed up. I always like this to go cap by cap. Okay, so now I'm just going to get my tweezer pliers and just grab a hold of one of those legs there. Get a good hold on it, nice and tight, firm hold. Remembering which one it is you've got a hold of. And then you'll see that we've got the solder blobs there. Now I put a little bit of load on the, I put a, I, I make sure I've got a bit of a load on the, um, on the pliers pulling on that leg, not a great deal, it's very slightly, and what I do that for is because as soon as you know that, that solder's heated right through, you'll feel that load, like, move the leg slightly, so I wait till that's nice and hot, and then boom, and there's your leg, it's pulled straight through, that's one leg done, let's get the other one here, Get that there, okay, got it. And then again, just gonna not put a little bit of torque on the uh, pliers pulling against that leg, 
And then I'm just going to heat that solder blob. Let the soldering iron sit there for, say, for 10 seconds. And feel that leg get free. And then pull that through. And there's another perfect leg removed there. So, yep, that's really good. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is just going to load it up just a touch more again. Because what I want to do now is use my solder pump to uh, suck that solder completely up. So I like to load it up with a bit of extra solder just so that, you know, we get a good um, vacuum and good heat transfer right through the VR. Okay. So now it's going to do the first one here. There's the two holes just there, and that's a 100 UF, uh, 100 microfarad, 6.3 volt. I'll handily mark that. Once I get my, I get my cap tips from Console 5, and I just go through them and I mark what they are on the bottom of the, the cardboard tab there, the dispensing tab, just so you know it's just easier not having to have to look down. Do the double checking before you. You know, and then you can move along a bit faster. So now I'm just going to find the positive point on that cap, which is, where is that? Huh. Doesn't seem to be marked. I'm not, I'm not I'm seeing things. Oh no, I see. Alright, and then anyway, now we're just gonna make sure we've got the polarity correct. Get that there and that there. Okay. Boom. Cap new caps in. And on the other side, and then of course you just solder that in. Okay, so I hope that helps someone. I might just do it one more time for you guys so you can see it getting done. Let's remove this cap here. So, that's the cap we're going to move. I'll just grab it like this. And just gently, to start with, we're just loosening the legs on the inside of that cap. straight off Boom. and then you just repeat the process just here just snipping them down trimming them up A bit of flux A bit of solder Pretty much, probably got enough solder on those. So it's just, make sure it's not too clear. Mm. 
Boom. Beautiful. Shave my needle. Nice and easy. Oh, I hope someone gets some enjoyment out of that and some useful tips. Thank you very much.